here for one thousand and three. And today I'll show you how to use one of my toolkits. All my toolkits are universal, so they will work the same way. But you have to make sure you use a toolkit for the specific device. So if you have the maze, you must use the maze toolkit. The droid incredible for the droid incredible toolkit. But this video will still apply for how to use it. So here's my downloaded toolkit for the Wildfire S. You can open it up. Make sure you have WinRAR installed, or else this won't open. Then there's a folder. Just drag it. There you go. Now, now it's right there. It's extracted. Click up the folder. And you have two files. You have the exe and the folder, a data folder. Open the exe. Now this is set up. Now this, for my phone, will be a little hard. My phone bill. For the Wildfire S, I don't have a working power button. Well, the button's not there, but it works. So I'm going to show you what to do next in the phone. So you can press the menu button, go to settings, make sure your cable's connected. Go to Applications, Development, and press USB Debugging, hit OK. Now USB Debugging is checked. Now my toolkit, install the drivers, I already have them installed. Register HTC Dev, it's going to open up the link to the register website, but right now it's down so I'm not going to press it. And now we got USB debugging enabled. So we're going to press get token ID. Hit go. Now the command prompt uh, pops up. So we're in bootloader. And now you have this. You're going to right click, press mark. Copy from after info. Highlight all the way down to uh, identify your token end. So make sure you get all that highlighted. Right click and it copies it. Now make sure you close this out. Go to submit token ID. Since I'm already logged in. All I do is just scroll down. Under my device identifier token, just right click, hit paste, scroll down, hit submit. And now go to your email that you use to register for HTC Dev. Now you have an attachment. Download it. Save the file. Cool, we get our unlock code. Now make sure you copy it, so right click, copy. Now we're going to go back to the toolkit folder, open the data folder, and from here, make sure you right click, and press paste. Now we got the unlock code bin right there. Now go back to the toolkit, press unlock bootloader. I have a screen pop up. You see this. This will wipe out your whole entire phone. All Anything you have on the phone itself will be wiped out. If it's on the SD card, you'll be fine. So you're going to press volume up to go to yes. And you're going to press the power button, but this phone doesn't have a power button. So give me one second. Press the power button, phone's going to restart. So from here, just close the command prompt screen out. And now, phone just factory reset, now it's going to load up. As we're waiting, I'm going to show you all my other features. So we have the recovery option. This is the GSM model, so we're going to flash the GSM recovery, but we'll get away from the phone to load up. Kernels, when you put a kernel, you got to put the boot image and the modules, if 
there is any in the kernel folder. So which is in the data, the kernels, just place it over here, you're fine. Make sure it's named as boot.img. Recoveries, you can flesh your own, but it must be named as recovery.img. So if you want to flesh your own recovery, put the folder, the file in the folder, hit press your own recovery, flesh recovery, kernel, make sure you press with this command, and then press, uh, press flesh kernel, it's going to flesh your kernel. Here are some basic commands, Ubuntu, bootloader, Ubuntu recovery, boot reboot the phone, re reboot lock the bootloader. Here are some links. You can donate to me if you want. You know, I put a lot of time into this. Why not help me out since I'm helping you out? If you want a GSM phone unlocked, I can unlock many of them. It's not free. I do buy and resell the code. So if you want to help me out, I do go to school. And this will take you to the thread for the toolkit for the appropriate device. This is the Wildfire S, so it'll take you over there. So let me show you. Wildfire S all in one toolkit. Now we have the development section. So, whatever advice you have. APK installer and data backup will allow you to uh, batch install APKs, back them up. Great if you want to back up your phone. Main vert doesn't work for your device. Well, for the Wildfire S, it doesn't, but every other device it works. And perm root, this is for when we want to perm root the phone. So next, your phone should be loaded. Follow through the steps. So we're going to just flip through this. Next. Make sure it's in charge only mode. Go to the menu button, press that. Settings, scroll down, applications, development, enable USB debugging, hit OK. Now with this, this is the GSM model of the phone. So we're going to press the GSM model, flash recovery. Recovery flashed. Close the command prompt screen. You always have to close the command prompt screen, or else it won't work when you try to flash other things or use other commands. Next, make sure you have perm root checked. I'm going to wait for the phone to load up. Unlock your screen, hit OK, we're done. Now the phone's loaded, press perm root, press run. It's pushing the file. Now it's going to reboot the phone. And here are the steps if you want to just read it. This is for clockwork mod recovery. So twerp is going to be slightly different to use. Same with 4x if your phone has 4x. Go to install. Scroll down. Super SU. 
Hit flash now. Okay, it's done. Reboot system. And you can unplug the cable now if you want. Now let's go to the app drawer and let's see if super user is there. Yeah, either it's going to be called super user or super SU depending on the phone. So yeah, we got super user right there. Your phone's now rooted. So if you like my tool, just you know, let me know. Leave a comment or if you really want, you can send me a donation. Whatever works. And thanks a lot.